How was school? I don't know. Like always, I guess. Okay, uh, what's wrong, Kia? What do you mean, sure? I'm fine. No, you're not. <laughs> you're reading your Bible. Hmm, what's the matter with that? I'm always reading my Bible. Yeah, but you always tap your fingers whenever you're trying to look for something specific. Well, is there something wrong with that? Looking for answers isn't a bad thing. No, no, no. Looking for answers is never a bad thing. It's just that I'm surprised there's something personal you're looking up. And how do you know I'm looking for something personal? Um, because you would have asked me if it was for research. Well, maybe I just want to do some research on my own. You know, find my own answer instead of asking you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, I have something to tell you, but you can't tell mom yet. Oh no, I'm not trying to find another thing that's wrong with the whole culture, are you? You know, nitpicking isn't going to get you anywhere. And besides, in every culture, there's always something bad and good. No, it's not that. Alright, I won't tell mom and dad. What is it? Well, there's this one guy at school. <laughs> <laughs> what? What's so funny? You never dated anybody before. No, it's nothing. It's just that I should have known that it was about a boy, you know. But anyway, what's the problem? Is he a shaman or something? No, it's not that. Well, what is it? He's white. Oh. <laughs> well, I know mom and dad's not gonna prove, but... So, Kia, I mean, if you like this guy, just go out with him. Don't worry about mom and dad. Just, just try to keep it as low as possible, you know, until the right time. But when's the right time? Well, I'm not exactly sure, but, you know, just don't get ahead of yourself. You know, try to get to know him a little more. Alright. Oh, yeah? Yeah? Is he hot? <laughs> uh, yeah. But... But what? <laughs> He's kind of cocky. <laughs> okay, I always knew you'd go for the bad boys. He's also into rap, too. Um, yeah, that you might want to work on. Thanks, Joel. Yeah, thanks. You're welcome, little sis. Well, he has about three kids. Besides, it is natural. He did grow up in that San Francisco. See? The homo capital of the frickin' world. Just because he has kids doesn't mean anything. You guys still talking about Mr. Hill? Yeah. Well, have you seen the way he looks at the chicks in the class? Yeah, his slightly downward gaze. I don't know. I still think he's pretty gay to me. I'll give it a few days, you'll see. Man, you got all wrong. This whole world's turning fag and you can't even see it. I don't know what you're talking about. We're all straight here. <laughs> Hello, gorgeous. Oh, hey, Kia. How are you doing today? Hello, John. I'm good. How about you? I consider myself the luckiest man on the world. Because of the movies? Yeah. How did you? Well, can I suck up the movies with you, Drake? Yeah, sure. It um, starts at 6. It starts at 6. Great. Then, I'll see you later then. You asked Kia Chang? For the millionth time. Yes. I mean, she is hot. Yeah, but she just doesn't seem like the kind of girl you would go out with. Well, I guess you're just losing your touch then. You don't know me like you used to. I know you. I know the real you. This, this isn't him. First you stumble your words, and then I find out it's with Kia Chang. <sighs> Is that a bad thing? I don't know, but going with Kia, that's a bad thing. I thought she knew you. Why is that bad? It's bad because she's mom. So what are you, some sort of racist now? No, I'm a practical kind of guy. I wouldn't even ask Kia out, and trust me, normally I would. But you just don't understand Hmong culture. It's not like ours. So? They're in America now. What else of their culture do they have left? You'd be surprised. And they're pretty strict. It's held on for a really long time. Strict? What do you mean by strict? There's a reason why they're all good students. In this movie business, let's just say her parents wouldn't approve. You mean she didn't tell her parents? 
Probably not. Well, I guess it's just not a date now. Not a date? Yeah. We could just say that's some sort of like social outing or something like that. I mean, you're just in case your parents ever asked. What are you doing? Snacks. You know how much this stuff costs in the theater? Yeah, but that's their only source of revenue. I don't care. Their prices are communist, and I'm not supporting them. God is my witness. I'll never be hungry again. Communist. Freaking communist. They won't even let us in the movie theater with snacks. Communist. I'm so sorry about that. Don't be. It's not your fault. And I'm glad you actually asked me. <sighs> no snacks? What kind of crap is that? Pop in a bag. I'm guessing you probably want to go home now. I'd rather not. You couldn't even see them. They were like this. Can you see them there? No, obviously. No snacks. Only a Sith deals in absolutes.